this to work the way it's supposed to. problem a hundred times I just don't know I I just don't know what it is and I I don't know if I'll ever know I know it's it's either OBS studio or it's my Elgato capture card figured out which one it is though but anyways we're back with trails of cold steel uh, last time we uh, joined the Academy I thought I was gonna go for the camera for a second I was like no this is not a photography uh, game that we have to worry about Green. <laughs> Good morning. You know, I, I always find these parts annoying. It's like either you get full voice acting or you don't. Don't mix and match. Are you heading to school now too? How about we walk there together? No problem. I'm guessing everyone else left already, huh? Exactly. That's a good question. I don't know if they ever explain that. Other than, you know, I'm just a martial arts guy who can sense everyone's chi. Mm. Good morning. Morning! Are you two on your way to school? Uh, yeah. Come on, Emma. We're going to be late. Wait for me, Lisa. We'll see you in class. You're all in the same class. Go together. I never would have guessed she'd hold a grudge this long. She knows it was just an accident, right? She has to. Can't believe she'd be so sensitive. Well, as long as you keep trying, I'm sure she'll understand. Eventually. Class seven's got enough tension as it is. What with our two, uh, prideful warriors at each other's throats. So I think it would be a load off everyone's mind if you and Elisa could make up at least. I don't know what that is. All right, first day of school. School that we get to see. Apparently these guys have been in school for like a week, a little bit more than a week. Just a, a side note, have you noticed that when we were walking by, we already passed this part. But when the scene transitioned here, we started at the, the train station. What's up with that? Everyone's super smart. I 
Those guys will never be friends. Even going into the second game, we'll still be at each other's throats. Mark my words. And that's where we'd be if we weren't in class seven. Here we go again with the half boys acting half not. Dormitory number two, for all the common folk like us. They did a good job. It's got a nice feel to it. I just wish it were a little closer to the academy. Yeah, man, we all the way in the back. Hey, you're in our way. Oops. Oh, uh, oops. Oh. <laughs> Class seven, I see. It is something the matter? You're just a ragtag bunch of nobodies, aren't you? Come on, we're leaving. Nobles are the higher classmen in this game. Ah, <sighs> so they're from one of the upper classes. This is why I hate talking to them. pretty bad that's the infamous dormitory number one where all the nobility lives it's supposed to be super fancy inside with maids and butlers and everything you never get to go in past the lobby for that building or any of the dormitory buildings except for the one that we live in yeah sorry <clears throat> oh, hey, have you picked out a club to join yet? Doesn't sound like you have to or anything, but it's probably a good way to meet people. Wouldn't they have <clears throat> had these conversations a week ago? Why are they having it now? It's who knows how long into the into school. And now they're just like, well, that building over there is dorm tour number one. And that one's number two. And we're number three way back there. In the back of the bus. Stand, bow, be seated. As I'm sure you're all well aware, the Erebonian Empire was driven to the brink of collapse roughly 250 years ago. This was brought about by the conflict we know as the War of the Lions. A civil war lasting several years, staged over the throne of the late emperor by the most powerful of his potential successors. But of course, I'm not here to tell you that. If I were, I think even young children would be able to pass this course. <laughs> Rather, I'd like to discuss the effects this had on the empire as members of the aristocracy were drawn into the war. Many hired mercenaries turned to looting and pillaging, and a similar trend could even be seen among some of the knights. The land was left utterly devastated, and morale was at an all-time low. But then, lo and behold, into this nightmare stepped a man, a man willing to take a stand against this bloody war of succession. He was a wandering prince who began to rally forces from the outskirts of the empire and would go on to make quite a name for himself. And that name, of course, was Dreykel's Rice Arnor. He would later become known as Dreykel's the Lionheart, the 73rd Emperor of Erebonia and father of the Renaissance. Not to mention the founder of this very academy. Dreykel's army was initially rather small in number. But as he traveled across the empire, winning over the hearts of influential sympathizers, his forces rapidly increased. Now, the place where Emperor Dreykels first began gathering his army was... Reenschwarzer, would you care to tell the class? This sucker. Come on, man. I don't even get to... even get to do anything. 
I didn't get to study. All right. Uh, well, I played this game before. And again, with the no voice acting. Explains uh, your points. Uh, the goal is to get an S rank at the end of every chapter. Uh, I guess I skipped over that a little bit quickly. Thought there was like another card or something. Nice work, everyone. You made it through another grueling day of classes. In case you've been living under a rock, please don't forget that tomorrow is your first free day. It's not technically a day off, but there are no classes, so it's up to you what to do with your time. Why, you could go shopping in the capital if you wanted to. Or just do what I do and sleep all day. Sleep is so wonderful. Um, will the Academy's facilities still be open for our use? Yes, I'd like to be able to use the free study area in the library myself. Of course! This school shuts down for no one. So feel free to patronize any and all facilities as you like. A lot of clubs have meets scheduled for these free days as well, so anyone who's joined one should probably check on that. I see. I'll be certain to do so. Also, before you leave, we should go over what's happening next week. On Wednesday, you all have your practical exam. What does that entail exactly? It's part of your combat training. You'll be graded on your performance, so make sure you're well rested and ready for battle by then. Might be a good idea to do some training on your own time, too, just to keep from getting rusty. Hmm. Interesting. I definitely don't like the sound of that. Oh, and one more thing. After the practical exam is over, I've got another important announcement about a major part of Class 7's curriculum that I haven't mentioned at all yet. What? So, whatever you choose to do on your free day, make it count for something. That concludes today's homeroom. Machias, if you'll do the honors. Yes, instructor. All rise. Bow. I don't know why they do that. She didn't touch the door. All right. So we got a, a free day. And uh, those days are basically um, days where you can do side, it's either side quests or bonding events, or both. Maybe it's only bonding events.
Alrighty. Three days do have quests. We rarely ever go into the auditorium. Um, I think there's maybe like two or three events in the entire game. And only one of those events you get to walk around. First year. How's it going? Academy life been treating you well this past half month? <laughs> of course it will. Your class is going to be more intense than the others, too. But you just hang in there, okay? Hey now, let's not get ahead of ourselves. At first things first, how about you let me show you this cool trick I've been practicing? Hmm. You got a 50 mirror coin I can borrow? Cheers. All right. Watch closely. Now, which hand is the coin in? Left or right? I played this game, so I know exactly where it is. Too bad. Wait. That's cheating. You catch on quick. You cheated! <laughs> Keep up the good work, man. You're gonna need to be pretty tough to get through a year with Sarah as your instructor. This guy. Oh, and uh, the student council room is on the second floor, furthest room back. See you around. Have a good weekend. This dude just jacked my 50 mirror. He's not even sorry. I think I mentioned it before. Uh, uh, his name is not really a secret or anything like that. His name is Crow. He's a second year student. Uh, he's a cool guy. He's a side character. Talked to him a few times. We probably won't be buying 
too many items because new game plus. All right, come on. Over here we get to meet our student council president. It's a Tawa heist. Her name is not Toa. I refuse to call her Toa. It's Tawa. <laughs> it's been about two weeks, hasn't it? Welcome to the student council room, Reen Schwarzer. Instructor Sarah sent you, right? Hmm. Is something wrong? She does look like she's six years old. <laughs> But there's no need for formalities with me. There's no junior or senior in my book. The name's Toa Herschel. Tawa Herschel. I'm the student council president. Uh-huh. Does that surprise you? I'm sure I'll have plenty of opportunities to interact with you and the other first years during your time here. So if there's anything you need help with, you just come and let me know, okay? I'll do everything in my power to make it better. Oh, of course. Here you go. Yours is the one on top. Saying. I'm really sorry it's taken so long. Class 7's curriculum is pretty different from any of the other classes. And you're even using a different kind of battle ornament, so yours had to be compiled separately. The Arcus, yes. All the student notebooks double as instruction manuals for their accompanying battle ornaments. And the other first years are all using the same type as last year, so we could just reuse last year's template. But the archetype you're using works quite differently, so we had to write a whole new set of directions from scratch. Pretty much just me. Instructor Sarah asked me to do it on her behalf. <laughs> Which means it's my fault this has taken so long. I'm really sorry. Technically you're right, but she's always so busy. And I help out the other instructors a lot, too. So I don't mind lending her a hand from time to time. Hmm. Yes, please. I really appreciate what you've all agreed to do, too. <laughs> I heard all about it from Instructor Sarah. Man, so does the chat bubbles have to be, like, all the way up there, man? Like, bring them down a little bit. She said you've agreed to help out the student council with our work, right? It's such a nice gesture. You're really getting class seven off to a great start here at the academy. Hmm. Didn't you tell her that you wanted to help ease our workload? Something about wanting to better yourselves? To prove you were worthy of being a part of this prestigious new class? She said you were all really eager to help out. So I should try to delegate some of my duties to you. What a nice teacher. Man, that's when you go break out the pistol and you start going to school. That was a joke. Relax. I, I'm sorry. Did I misunderstand her or something? Oh, how embarrassing. I didn't mean to start trying to force work onto you when you've only just enrolled. I thought there had been a terrible misunderstanding there for a moment. It absolutely was. <laughs> but don't worry, I won't give you anything too difficult. It'll mostly just be fulfilling requests from people in the academy and in Trista. Yep, sometimes people send in feedback and list things they'd like us to do for them. And we try to help out however we can. I'll pick some up for you to do by the end of the day and drop the list in your mailbox at your dorm tomorrow morning. 
Will that be okay with you? And thus we spend all of our free days being an errand boy for the student council president. Ree needs to grow a spine. Wunderkind, I hear you had a nice little dinner date with the student council president. Ooh la la. I'll skip the details for now, but it's got something to do with the other part of your curriculum that I'll be announcing next week. I thought it'd be a good chance for one of you to do a little rehearsal before the main event. And since the student council truly is busy, I figure, why not kill two birds with one stone? A fine plan, if I do say so myself. Oh, that's entirely up to you. If there's a club you're interested in joining, far be it from me to force you away from it. of why Reen is so special. <laughs> well, in a sense, you're effectively at the center of Class 7. I'm not saying you're its leader, of course, but in a class full of nobles, commoners, and exchange students, you in particular are special. Surely even you can see that, no? So what makes us special is we're special. I decided to give you first dibs, so to speak. I wanted to get an idea of how things might go from here on out. There's never been a class like yours before, after all. So there you have it. The beans have been spilled all over the place. Ball's in your court now. <laughs> I was wondering what that was. Beer, of course. It's the weekend and I'm stuck wasting away in my room, imbibing libations. Alas, all by my lonesome. If only I had a classy gentleman friend who'd go out drinking with me. But woe of woes, such a man is nary to be found. Sarah's so awesome. Never better. But you, instead of trying to put everything in its place, why don't you just go with the flow for a change? It seems like you're desperately trying to find but if you don't plant yourself somewhere, you're just going to blow away with the next big gust that comes along. <laughs> and on that note, make sure you're back in the dorm by curfew and all transgressions will be forgiven. Toodles! She's always doing that stuff. her work on everybody and saying it's not her fault all right begin chapter one you have to give everyone their room oh. or have to give everyone their notebook
It's not very nice. You can just hear it in his voice. Very well. <laughs> hey, what were you up to? Oh, I was reading. What book were you reading? Oh man, that is mean. Man, useless could be a jerk. It's okay though. We'll become friends with useless. He's not that bad of a guy. He's um he's the battle mage. He has pretty good attack stat. He has pretty good magic stat. Um, so you can kind of use him however you want. Um, in the second game, uh, I, I used him as a, a more of a caster. Um, but it's, it's nice having, say, um, someone that can, you know, do, do damage when you need it. Or, you know, just uh, cast the, the right spell when you need to. It's, yeah, he's, he's a useful character. Um, his, uh, his crafts, his crafts are pretty good. are tough. It's just the quizzes. Alright, Legers. Good game. Saying, oh, you know, okay, we won't let you sit through the explanation again. Let's just, you know, give you a little summary of, of what he does. She keeps her last name a secret for a reason. We'll uh, learn it eventually. Um, it 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 should be kind of obvious, but uh, you know, whatever. better swordsman uh, but he's uh, he's still uh, I guess he has a long way to go I guess I don't, I don't know uh, we'll, we'll, we'll learn a little bit about Reen's past um, I, I, I guess I would say that there isn't too much um, about Reen's past to, to actually learn. Um, it's, it's pretty simple. 
Uh, but there's there's some interesting things about it. He's one of those uh, mysterious characters. Uh, Emma is also one of those mysterious characters. You think she's just a normal, normal person, but she has something to hide. Well, everybody has something to hide in this game, including Thee. Um, still haven't decided on who my party is going to be. Um, I, I, well, I don't know if I'm going to use what is the map? I guess there's no map. Um, I have so I either need to use Emma or I need to use Elliot um, because well, actually you know it's new game plus I probably don't have to use either of them so maybe I'll just use all the characters that I didn't use the first time I played which would be Gaius, Machias, and Alyssa. Sounds like a terrible party though but it's New Game Plus. It's not really that going to be... Or it's not really going to be too much of a challenge when I'm fighting level 5 monsters and I'm level 66. Uh, when we get closer to the end of the game, that's when I'll have to... Uh, have to see if things are... will change things around, but... Maybe... Maybe it'll be fine. Alright, so... Every free day... We get these uh, these tasks. The red ones are required, uh, so you have to do them to progress the story. The uh, blue ones are optional. You don't have to do them to progress the story. However, to 100% the game and get S ranks at the end of every uh, chapter, uh, you need to do everything. So, so we're gonna do. There's also hidden quests, so watch out for those. All right. So for this one. Uh, we need to investigate the old schoolhouse. Sounds easy enough. This one... Visit the engineer's building. George wants to talk to us. And this one... Drop the student notebook. We need to go to the student council building. Uh, the nice thing about these quests is they do appear on the map, um, so you'll always know where the quests are and if there's any quests uh, to do. Uh, the hidden quest is hidden, however, so you'll have to essentially talk to everybody uh, every free day uh, to do that or to get it, and then you'll have to. And then once you get it, it'll appear on the map. Uh, bonding points are for link levels. Um, you get a certain number of bonding points uh, every free day and you use them to bond with uh, party members. Um, I'll go over, I mean the, the game will go over links uh, a little bit later, um, but essentially uh, links give you access to uh, these, I guess, additional additional combat moves. Um, you can link another attack with your link partner. You can uh, do like a rush that attacks multiple enemies with your link partner. 
and you can attack all enemies with all party members. Uh, and I, it's called like Rush and something else and something else. Um, but anyways, uh, oh, I do have. Okay, so uh, how do I? Well, there's Finishing Blow, there's Rush, and there's there's one more. Maybe that's in the second game that I'm thinking of. But these are the Link levels. Uh, Reen's at level 5. Um, you could see the characters that I used for this game. Elliot, Laura, and I guess I used Emma. I didn't, I didn't realize that. Fee is pretty high. Uh, Machias, I used Machias for a while. I don't know why uh, Alyssa is up there. She's... whatever. Um, but... Uh, certain characters' links are good, and some of them are just, you know, whatever. I, I don't, I don't know if I'm interested in, in the link, links or not. Um, actually, let me, let me see here. Uh, five is the max. Um, we're gonna use Gaius. Machias and Alyssa. Eusis is right up there. Gaius, Machias, and Alyssa. Gaius, Machias, and Alyssa. Okay. Um, the game does kind of force you to use all party members. Um, so it it is a good idea to uh, you know uh, make sure everyone's up to speed per se um, in the sense of one chapter it'll say like hey you know you're gonna use these party members and another chapter it's gonna say hey we're gonna use these party members um, it. It doesn't screw you over at all, but uh, it it can get frustrating when you want to use a particular squad uh, and you don't get that squad. So for a while, the game is basically going to tell us, you know, here's your party members, uh, go have fun. Um, in the second game, I don't think there are those restrictions, uh, except for in a few spots. And this is basically what a bonding event is. Um, I'm actually kind of tempted to skip these. Um, mostly because all it does is give link levels. And not... Well, I mean, link levels are important. I don't know. I don't know. They, they don't take too much time. You know, they're, they're like a minute, minute and a half. We'll see. I'm gonna do these these first two. Oh, gives 500. I thought I was gonna give less than that. Well, Marcus, I mean, I guess we don't really have that much more to go for a lot of the characters so maybe maybe we'll just maybe we'll just do it until we get everybody to max uh, the, the bonding events are just whatever they're not they're not that special so that that might be the one thing I don't do for this hundred percent Yes, this game has fishing. I, I, 
I do remember how to fish. Uh, it involves button mashing, unfortunately. Uh, but it's fairly easy. Uh, and we will be fishing to 100% this game. Uh, the fishing is not that big of a deal at all. Just gotta remember all the fishing spots. That's the hardest part. get some really cool prizes. Um, in particular, there's a couple orb orbments. Orbs. I think they're called orbments. Well, there's some really good ones. Um, I I have them, but it it's uh, it's nice to have more. store we need to we need to buy a book apparently, apparently I already have the book uh, how much money do I have wow I am broke I only have ten thousand this? What's this? Um, let's see, I'm looking for... Okay. I guess I'm missing chapter three. Oh, apparently I have all the rods, too. <laughs> I guess I just got to keep absolutely everything. Okay, so there's there's a couple. I'm missing seven there, too. And then for Cornelia, I'm missing a lot. Again. Okay. Interesting. Very, very interesting. All right. Uh, let's let's uh, do a little fishing. I don't. Am I like? I don't know if I'm a master angler right now. Uh, let's go into the beginner rod. All right, so fishing's not too bad. It, it requires button mashing, unfortunately. Um, that's the worst part about it. Come on. Oh my gosh. All right. All right. Wow, this is a big one. Um. Oh, I already caught all the, the fish. It, okay, maybe I don't have to fish? We'll, we'll find out. It'll be kind of funny if this game is just like, Oh, you caught all the fish! Wait, what? 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 How did you do that? Um, and that, that fish that I just caught, that's not a fish that I can catch right now. What's going on there? Uh, let me see. I need to go in here. Well, actually, I don't have to 
buy this, but we'll, we'll double check. I don't want to talk to you. I just have to keep an eye on on that because um, you can um, you can um, actually I'll do the side quest first. But uh, you turn them in to get something towards the end of the game. Let's see, you're over here. This is what a side quest looks like. They have the green bubble above them. You can see it on the map as well. Oh, so that's how it is. did this quest, the notebook was impossible to get. It was just absolutely, I mean like not impossible in the sense of I couldn't get it, it was impossible in the sense of it just took forever to actually get the prompt to pick it up. turn them in. Um, that was actually something that screwed me over um, on my first playthrough, was there was one side quest that I didn't turn in, um, and so I didn't get the academic points for it. And that was sadness. Okay, so I actually want to talk to people real quick. We'll have to do that another time. Um, there's these medals that I can get primarily. Oh. Oh yeah. Okay. This hundred percent is gonna be tough. It's either this is a peculiar dis dish, or this one is. This one is like a, a super one, this one's like just shy of a super one. Or no, I guess that's the, the super one. Okay, um, we're gonna do that later.
There we go. This, this is the, one of the medals that I was uh, trying to get. Oh, Angelica. That's the, the girl in the leather's name. Hoping to get medals from them. This is the principal's office. Uh, let's go ahead and activate this quest. pick up her mess. Um, so the old schoolhouse is actually uh, important and not important. Um, basically every free day um, they're gonna have us visit the old schoolhouse and uh, I mean the old schoolhouse is basically just like a a dungeon to go through. It's actually pretty cool. These are the medals that you can get. Um, fortunately, uh, I guess I'm either I don't qualify for all of them yet, or I uh, or something else. But I got I got one of them. All right, so we're gonna go pick up the notebook. So the notebook right there. Um, it was never this easy to pick up, mind you. I spent probably like five minutes running around the couch trying to figure out how to pick it up. They just refused to give me the prompt. And I know five minutes, oh my goodness. That was five minutes, man. Alright, so we'll go turn this in. Check it, man. Just, just open it up. See if it's her name. Like you did with uh, Alyssa. Alyssa. Whatever they pronounce her name.
We've got those? Wow. She didn't even know she had pockets on her jacket. Come on. Talk to George, George, George of the jungle. Alright, this is where we get all of our ornament uh, shenanigans done. George Gnome, George Nome, Nome. said that he would be careful. Alright, so we're going to do this before we do the old schoolhouse. So we need to find the home economics room. Second floor. Doesn't show us. Yeah. I thought there was a way to. I thought there was a way to open up the other map, but I guess not. Going crazy, I guess. There he is. Oh my goodness. That girl right there, she is crazy. Oh man. I forgot about her. whole uh, 
buying the ingredients and cooking it yourself is cheaper than going somewhere else and doing it. And I really don't know if that's true. For some things. Maybe a steak, probably. You know, if you can cook a steak, do it. You know, what is it like? Three ninety nine a pound, four ninety nine a pound. Uh, get like a two pound steak. You're gonna go to a restaurant. You're gonna spend uh, probably like sixteen bucks. Um, but you know, then you gotta worry about all the the side dishes too. So that's probably gonna cost you another five to six bucks. Uh, get some potatoes or something like that. Uh, where am I going next? I have to leave this place and go to town. Uh, the radio station and the pawn shop. Um. Oh, I forgot to talk to the fishing guy. Here's this guy. I never quite got his his secret. Um, he's 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 he he has a secret, and I don't know what it is. I have assumptions, but I I don't know. I either I I missed it when the game told me, or the game just doesn't tell you. Probably do a little bit of blade. So uh, the the whole exchanging item system in this game is not good. It's it's horrible. Um, I'm actually going to uh, show you here. So, uh, a tear bomb, I believe, heals uh, a thousand. I think it heals a thousand. But you need three of those to get you know, one of higher, and it it's just not worth. Not at all. Um, you need some, some crazy stuff to get crazy stuff. It's, uh, how I'd put it, crazy. Um, the, the equipment uh, exchanging or trading, that's fine. The quartz trading, uh, that's generally also fine. Generally. Curios. Uh, yeah, for the most part, he never sells uh, stuff worth having. Sometimes um, he will sell books that you haven't uh uh, or you missed out on, um, and that's kind of what the curios are all about. Other than that, though, um, don't really spend too much time doing any of that. Uh, radio station, you come here a couple times. It's not very important, it's just one of those side areas.
I didn't, the guy didn't give me anything. Um, so, I, I don't know if this is because it's New Game Plus, but I'll bend the time that doesn't exist yet. I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist yet. We'll find out. We'll find out very soon. Um, I'm gonna go visit the student council building. Um, Cause I wanna talk to the fishing guy to see uh, what my, if he's just gonna go crazy that I caught all the fish. This one fishing, you know, that's photography. Oh, I know what that one is. Oh, here we go, fishing. Oh, no, okay. Can't go upstairs, actually. I don't think I've ever been in that room. I'm not sure if you can actually go in that room or not. Come on, man. Uh, so we're gonna visit that fishing guy just real quick. I think he's over here. Okay, so you you can't just uh, interesting. Uh, so these are the uh, the really good stuff that you can get from him. Flood, amazing. Um, getting uh, crystal flood and hydro cannon uh, is just it's incredible, absolutely incredible. Uh, Say you uh, mute is okay. Freeze is actually extremely useful. It's basically petrify. Um, uh, let's just say it's uh, it's a combination of well, it's it it doesn't let you act and you take damage every round. So it's like poison and petrify, but yeah, poison and petrify. It's really good, really really good. Um, these are part of a set. I think I have the, uh, wow, that is a lot of accuracy. Uh, I think I have the, the set, the, the full set thing. Um, um I'll, I was trying to debate whether I was going to spend that bonding point, but the, the bonding people that I have left is Laura and Elliot, and they're already level 5. So. big, there's only a few buildings. Not that hard to find. Yeah!
here's this thing that I'm, you know, have no intention of using anymore because, uh, you know, I'm too busy. It's, it's just kind of trash to me. Talk about Sepith. Uh, Sepith, basically, uh, we can sell them or we can um, um, use them to unlock orb orbital slots, which we have them all unlocked. Um, something else, too. <clears throat> All right, so guess I can't do that. Um, cover. I've never actually bought these. It doesn't look like I'm actually going to buy them because they're stupid expensive. Wow, and it's per character? Are you serious? Uh, here's the slots. You can see they, they cost Sepith, but uh, they're already all unlocked. Uh, quartz, you need uh, Sepith to create as well. I think that's it. And then Sepith Mass, this is basically uh, what gold is. Um, I don't actually think you ever get Mira um, from anything. Except for me, well, maybe like pots or something. So I think I got like 30, 30 Mira from a pot. Talk to Angelica. Um, she actually joins our party once, um, and she's she's pretty good. Her um, let me see if I have it. Her master quartz. That's what's incredible. I believe it's called Emblem. No, I guess that's not the one. Someone must be using it. Or maybe maybe I didn't get it. Just checking this out real quick. Um, Thor is super good. That's a um, uh, Sarah's. Um, Sarah's. Uh, uh, master Quartz. Basically, whenever you use a craft or an attack, you regain HP and you regain mana. Um, and it's it's just so good. Uh, I believe it scales based off of uh, um, how many enemies you hit as well. So it's it's amazing. All right, so we can only uh, use these characters.
so we'll go ahead and uh, go through this. So, the old school house, as I mentioned, is a dungeon, and it changes every uh, every chapter, or every free day that you visit it, I guess. Um, I'm pretty sure it does not change every time you visit it, though. Basically, it changes every week. May the goddess be with us. So I cannot skip to the very end. find what we're made of. Alright, man. Alright, man. save right now. That's crazy. Um, I want to go to notes. Uh, oh, I guess this is kind of spoilery. <laughs> Don't look. Turn. Oh my God, I want to hit everybody. Just 
And, oh, so they did not. They did not nerf it. That's amazing. It's my turn. So I'm, I'm getting 25. Um, I go where the wind takes me. 25 CP craft points uh, per kill. And you can see that Gale only costs 30 or 40. Um, all right, so there is totally a way. There we go. It's like there's totally a way to see the map. Um, you can you can see how Force is just really OP because. You Now's just, our chance. You just we can do this. Here we go. Kill everything. Burn uh, or if, the, the the combo of it that <laughs> is. Um, you know, there. do double damage. Together. We're unbeatable. You, uh, uh, I'm having trouble explaining this all. Uh, you, you basically instantly kill things. And it's great. Um, we'll, you know, grab as many of the, the chests as we can. Oh, a treasure chest! Does us no harm to get the chests. It'll only be uh, annoying later on. Yay! We're at the end! Hooray! Uh, these... Okay, they're, they're gonna explain it. Uh, basically, uh, the blue ones, they, they heal you. Um, however, these ones also act as kind of... Uh, sort of like shops. More like orbital factories where you can... Um, you know, grab any, uh, um, uh, orb mint things. I keep forgetting what they're called. But you can grab whatever orb mints uh, you need to get. Uh, you can unlock slots and things like that. It's really nice. Uh, I really like games that, one, heal uh, you before the final boss, and two, let you save. This uh, will take everything we have. If you don't do that, it's an RPG card. Here we soon, go. In my opinion. But, uh, let's see right here. Yeah. Let's see, you have 10,000 hit points. This won't one shot you. My turn. Leave it to me. You want to use your Calamity Hop, one shot on you, uh, analyze them, you know, I think I do have the, uh, the Codex thing for him. I go where the wind takes me. Soul blur. Oh my gosh, there is a hidden one. See if, if I can still get it. I think I just screwed my hundred percent over. Fairly certain it's not gonna let me do this one, but we'll find out. Hopefully, it hopefully it lets me still do it. If it doesn't, um, well, there goes 100%. We're just we're just not gonna we're not gonna get that. Uh, I 
keep pressing X to like open the door or sprint. Uh, or no, I press uh, circle to sprint, but that uh, that makes you walk. Let's go. And it's a cat. Don't. All right, let me get this hidden one. Pretty sure this is the one that I missed out on my first playthrough. Like, oh, you know, it's the beginning of the game. I don't have to worry about all this stuff. It's not going to give me any stuff that I need to worry about as far as uh, what have you. I actually thought that dungeon was going to take a little bit longer. But I suppose if I wasn't just uh, breathing through the encounters and skipping most of them. You know, I'd be doing every single encounter, still be on the boss. crazy stuff. Can't wait to see where they go with the third one. Well, we just got roped into helping every week. see if we can do this uh, to see if we can do this uh, side quest or this hidden quest it's very important this is basically this is basically telling us that we can 100% this game or not I did receive another uh, bonding point, and I can visit Alyssa and Tala uh, with it. Let's see. Huzzah! 100% run is not destroyed. Alyssa and Tower are my bonding event ones. Um, I know my first playthrough, I spent a lot of 
uh, my bonding points on Tawa. Um, I don't know why. She wasn't a party member. Um, I don't think she becomes a party member at all in this game. If she does, maybe it's like one... One, um... Encounter or something like that? I don't... I don't remember. Um, and she's not very good, in my opinion. Um, she's... She's a possible character in the second game for a little while, um, and she she's just not. I mean, she 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 has some unique mechanics to her, but she's not, you know, all that. Her her damage sucks. She has really no no magic stat to speak of, so. much really to say about her. Alright, so we need to go back up to the, the food place that everybody uh, was at. I want to say it's this way. to the cafeteria. I mean, we just came to see if we can get some passion leads from you. You ain't gotta tell us your whole life story. just remembered what the practical exams are. Um, one of the practical exams is um, one of the reasons why I didn't 100% the game as well, but I'll definitely be able to, to do it this time. <laughs> You're not here to steal food, are you? thing that we'll do before turning in this quest. We want to talk to you. So, let me find a better example. I didn't really do much cooking in my first playthrough, as you can see. Alright, so we'll just start with a simple omelet. So, there's four different types of dishes. 
Um, the very first one, the one at the very top with like the sparkles, that's a unique dish. Um, and you can only make those if you have the, the happy face with the wink um, that's kind of orange. There's two examples down there of that. Um, and then after that is the, the dish itself, what you're, you're targeting, I guess. I don't remember what it's called. Um, but then you have, uh, I'm probably describing these totally completely wrong. Let me, uh, cooking, cooking, there we go. Um, all right, superb dishes, sparkly ones, regular dishes are the ones below that. Peculiar is the one with the exclamation point, question mark. Uh, attack dishes. Um, attack dishes. And then unique dishes. Uh, which, they, they're way better than anything you possibly make. But you could only make them if you have the crown. Um, and well, you can only make them if you have the the wink face. And then once you actually do make the uh, the the dish, uh, yeah, as it says there, you'll get the crown. And so you know who could make the the unique dishes. Um. So with that said, um, it doesn't look like have any party members on me right now that can do this, but my cooking ingredients here are not too great. Um, I do need to cook all of, all of the, the dishes to 100%. Uh, so that'll be, that'll be something I have to do. Not too difficult, just gotta keep an eye on... Uh, well, I just need to grab all the recipes, and I'm pretty sure I don't have all the recipes yet. And, come to think of it, I'm not sure if you... Acquire recipes by eating food, food that you haven't gotten yet. But we're about to find out. Although I'm not damaged, so probably won't be able to find out. Anything less would be critical or criminal. out on this, uh, this hidden quest. Let me see if I can eat this. Crispy pizza. Yeah, can't eat it when I, uh, when I have full hit points. Which is gonna be a problem. Alright, so that is the first free day. I'm trying to think. I don't know if it gives me a save prompt or not, but whatever. We'll figure it out. Nice. A patio with no way to get on the patio but going through the window. Right, here we get to see some of uh, Reen's uh, special swordsman skills.
FM and you're listening to Radio Trista. I actually really like this radio station. Welcome, welcome. Don't touch that dial, listeners. You found the right place to be tonight. Um, it, it's just, it's, it's just really good. It's time for the start of a brand new program here on Radio Trista, coming at you promptly every Sunday. I call it Oven Time after the word for evening. Might be a little cliché, but sometimes simple is best, right? Clichés are clichés for a reason, after all. Anyway, my name is Misty, and I'll be your host. Hopefully, I'll get to feature some famous guests at some point, so be sure you tune in every week, or you might miss them. And can I... He just said... Oh. Well. I don't know what I'm gonna do about that, but... Um... The voice acting in this game is pretty top-notch. I didn't mean to do that. I should keep my finger off the button. All right, they don't give me a uh, a uh, what was that? Uh, safe box. Okay, let's get your practical exam started, shall we? To be completely clear from the outset. This exam is about more than just testing your physical strength and stamina. It's designed to hone in on how capable you are of making strategic combat decisions on the fly. Defeating your opponent quickly is a good thing, certainly, but it won't be enough to score you high marks here. Huh. Interesting. So we're going to have to use our heads for this one, huh? <laughs> You'll see. Anyway. Let's get this month's exam started, shall we? Reen, Elliot, Gaius, you're up first. Please step forward. Uh-oh. Got it. All right, we'll save. Oh, it does. Okay, it does show. Well, no, it actually doesn't. Oh, don't look at that. Oh, <laughs> uh, I. Hold on a second. Okay, seventy-seven hours. That's how long it took me to beat the game. Get this show on the road. <laughs> All right, then. Here we go. A, a monster? No. I'm not sensing any life coming from it at all. That's right. Think of it like a scarecrow. Only it's a moving scarecrow, I guess. I've set its parameters fairly high, though, so it is formidable. But if you give it your all, I'm confident you can beat it. I skipped it, probably. Make good use of your Arcus's combat link abilities, for example, and I bet it'll be a piece of cake. Hint, hint. Oh. <sighs> I think they're like, I don't think they're called dolls. Watch out, guys! Go! Oh, you're not linked. <laughs> Leave it to me. Right there. Now. 
Got him. <laughs> the winds must be on our side. They must be, because that was a breeze. It sure was. Oh, juggler. Oh, I, you know, I I probably should be leveling up uh, court master courts that I don't already have at level five. That would be a good idea. Uh, by satisfying we the won. condition, uh, we get more AP. Um, and, and that's important. You gotta get your AP. D don't know how though. use of combat links too seems like the practice you got in the old schoolhouse really paid off Man, i shouldn't have used combat links just to see oh have those three been training in secret all right on to the second group laura emma usis come forward no we do not have to control the other groups Regrettably or fortunately. I don't think anybody fails. <sighs> that was tougher than I thought it would be. It does seem like combat links are the key to fighting it effectively, though. That's rather unfortunate. Instructor. May I ask a question? What exactly was that marionette we just fought? <laughs> yeah, that thing was weird. Machine, maybe? Never seen anything else like it. Oh, just a little something I got roped into working with a while back. I'd rather not use it if I don't have to, but I can't deny it serves as a valuable function. And it's rather customizable, too. I mean, it did its job quite well during our test, didn't it? So there you go. Anyway, that brings this month's practical exam to an end. But as you might recall, I told you I had a big announcement for you today, too. Are you all ready to hear what it is? I'll give you a hint. It's about a special part of Class 7's curriculum. Field trip? Give up? <laughs> it's really bugging you now, isn't it? We have to do chores. Well, I'll come clean. The special task you're about to be assigned is none other than a field study. Field study? Oh, I don't like the sound of this one bit. You'll be split into two groups, A and B and each sent to a different location. And while you're there, you'll be given a number of tasks to complete. Doesn't that sound like fun? Uh, we only just got to the academy and we're already being sent somewhere else? Oh, of course not. It'd be much too easy for you if I were there to bail you out every time the waters of life came seeping in. You've got to be cruel to be kind and all that. Well, I'm certainly not opposed to a challenge if it allows me to advance my training. Instructor Valestine, where exactly will we be going, and when? Ah, oh, yes, about that. As I said, you'll be split into two groups, A and B. Each of you, please come forward and take one of these to see how the groups have been divided and where each is being sent. So, Reen, Alyssa, Laura, and Elliot are going to Seldic. What? Well, these are certainly some interesting groupings. Keldic and Parm. Are they both in Erebonia? Yeah, Keldic's a market town on the east side of the Empire. And Parm is situated in the Deep South. It's known for its spinners. All that way? How irritating. <sighs> worried about where we're going than the utter lack of sense that went into these groupings. 
unbelievable. You'll be leaving this weekend, and we'll be out in the field for two days' time. Your means of reaching your respective locations will, of course, be by train. So do make sure you're thoroughly prepared, rested, and rearing to go before the big day. Okay. <laughs> your rank's gone up. We got it. Here's a little something from the academy. Information. Uh, 23 is the maximum amount of points you can get. Um, you have to get the hidden quests, and you have to get the plus one from the practical exam. You did really well, Reen. I like the music of this game. It's good. It's not crazy. It's not underwhelming. It's, it's good though. Uh... Morning, Elisa. See? have to be here for another 20 minutes, you know. Oh, well, the same goes for you. Uh, what time did you wake up? Around five, I think. Though, I always try to be up by then. Oh, uh, really? Morning practice? Oh, you haven't joined any clubs, have you? So, I guess not. No, it's just a force of habit. I've gotten used to waking up early. You're in the lacrosse club, right? So I'm guessing you do have to deal with morning practice sometimes. Yeah, twice a week, apparently. I'm, I'm really sorry. sorry. Wh why, why are, are you, you apologizing? apologizing? <laughs> <laughs> that was certainly interesting. But no, I really am sorry. I knew it was just an unfortunate accident from the very beginning. I mean, I was on top of you. I just... I kind of lost my head, and before I knew it, I'd slapped you. And you had your hands out like you were trying to catch me, right? So if anything, I should be thanking you. Don't worry about it. That trapdoor was obviously designed so we wouldn't get hurt from the fall. If I hadn't tried to play the hero, I wouldn't have been pinned under you, and none of this would have happened. Th there's no way you could have known that, though. No matter how you look at it, I'm the one in the wrong here. So, thank you for trying to protect me. And sorry again. And everything's good. No, it's... I, I mean, you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I have trouble with these kinds of things. My little sister is always getting on my case for being so easily flustered. Oh, you have a younger sister? question for another time. I think I'm the same way. I've been trying to apologize for the past couple weeks now, but every time I set my mind to it, I always just wound up avoiding you. <laughs> really? You did try to help me out in class last week, though. Oh, you noticed. I was hoping that would give us a chance to talk. Though, you didn't need my help in the end, so it didn't really do much good. I still appreciate the thought. Oh, well, I'm glad to hear it. Uh, anyway, we've safely established that what happened wasn't your fault, but the result of it is another issue entirely. The... result? What are we talking about now? Oh, come on! You have to know what I mean! This is still in regards to the accident in the old schoolhouse, right? Yes! Specifically the part where your face ended up right in my... Uh, you know... And I forbid you from ever thinking about that, ever. Forget it ever happened. Are we clear? It, yes, perfectly. <laughs> huh? Stupid. Uh. 
Oh, good morning. Good morning. A lovely day, isn't it? <laughs> you two certainly got here early. Looks like you finally managed to make up, too. Oh, uh, well... <laughs> yeah, I think we're on good terms now. Thanks for your concern. <laughs> I'm glad to hear it. It's been a bit trying watching the two of you simmer these past weeks. And I know Elisa has been desperate to apologize for her behavior this whole time. Whoa, whoa! That's only because I thought it would be awkward for two people who aren't talking to work together in the same group. Don't go getting the wrong idea or anything. Whatever you say. <laughs> well, as long as the two of you have smoothed things over, that's what's important. <laughs> now that we're all here, let's say we head out. The train's not due for a while longer, so this could be a good opportunity. We can swing by a few shops and stock up on supplies before heading to the station. <clears throat> uh, th that's a good idea, actually. The Academy's facilities are supposed to be open early today, too. Oh, that's perfect. We can make use of the Engineering Club's facilities before we head out, too. Shall we depart, then? Alright. So there's one thing... That I guess we won't be doing. Alright, well... We are gonna call it here for today, as soon as I find the way down. Um, we're going to resume tomorrow at uh, 5.30 PST on the Great Friday of the week. Uh, and we're going to resume some more uh, Trails of Cold Steel. And uh, it'll be great. We're going to do our first field study. And it'll be wonderful. Nothing will go wrong whatsoever. Uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you tomorrow, 5.30 PST, some more Trails of Cold Steel. Peace.